What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can flash or update our UEFI BIOS. Now it doesn't really matter what motherboard manufacturer it is, mine is an MSI one. We want to make sure you're in services here and go to the manufacturer's website as you can see here and you'll be able to go into the BIOS tab here and download the latest BIOS. So whether you're using Gigabyte, ASRock, uh, ASUS, any of those uh, type of uh, motherboards, it doesn't really matter. You just need to go to their web page and go to their services tab and download the latest version of their BIOS if there is one available. Now, why would you want to update or flash your BIOS? Well, if you're having issues and stuff like that, compatibility issues with memory or maybe uh, something else, then you may want to uh, flash your BIOS. But if you're having no problems at all, then I'd leave your BIOS well alone. You're going to need to get yourself a USB flash drive. And once you've downloaded the updated BIOS here, all you need to do is just drag uh, the files inside there onto a USB flash drive. Now, it doesn't have to be uh, you create a bootable flash drive or anything like that. You just have to have a, a flash drive plugged into the computer. And then you can just copy the two files across, which is your uh, BIOS file here and your text file, as you can see here. So once you've highlighted both of these, just drag them across to your USB flash drive. It's very easy to do. And then all you need to do here is close these off and then restart your computer and enter your BIOS. So we're going to restart here. Now once you restart, you will see the splash screen pop up. Yours may have a different logo on it, but you can see it's the DEL key, which is your delete key. Just tap that and you will then enter the BIOS. Now inside here you will see the BIOS version listed somewhere up here. The BIOS version is listed here and uh, we are going to now flash our BIOS to a newer version. Now you can see here we do have an M dash flash area. Just click on this and then click yes. You want to enter the flash mode. This will then pop up this screen or similar to what you're seeing here. And you can see it's detected my USB flash drive where it's got that BIOS on there. And you can see it's all listed up there on the screen. So what I'm going to do here is click on this and then say, yes, I do want to select this file for flashing my BIOS. And you can then see here it's targeted that file. And it will then start the BIOS updating process. Now this will take a bit of time, so be patient. I've speeded this process up. Now you do not want to cut any power to the system at the stage because the motherboard doesn't have a BIOS in it because it's writing over it. And if you do this, you will then brick your motherboard. So let it finish its task, okay? You can then boot the system back up and you should have the latest UEFI BIOS flash to that motherboard, okay? Now you can also roll back to older versions of uh, BIOS if you're having issues with the latest version and you don't really need to flash the BIOS unless you really need to, unless you've got issues with say motherboard, uh, memory com uh, compatibility issues, cameras, anything like that that you're using that has an hardware issue, you can try to flash the latest BIOS uh, on that motherboard. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope this one helps you out. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also What's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.